Do you have any recommendations of identification apps that you find reliable and that you like to use? No. <laughs> None of them are foolproof. They all have their issues. I think they're getting better. And my guess is, like, I'm not a huge fan of AI stuff for a lot of reasons. But I think as AI creeps into more and more spaces, the first person to apply, like, really good AI technology to a Crystal ID app is probably going to have pretty decent success. Some of them are pretty good so far. The thing that I always recommend is not specifically a Crystal ID app, it's Google Lens. You have the Google app on your phone and you open it up and over on the side, there's a little camera icon. And if you tap that camera icon, you can either take a photo or you can pick something out of your camera roll. That like works pretty good, it's free. And because it's connected with Google Images, the search results are huge, much more than um, any Crystal ID app is going to have because the only things it can compare to or search from in those ID apps are the data that has been like fed into it, which the data that's in Google search is unending, right? So this is my favorite and, you know, it might not pull up like the best perfect image first every time, but if you like scroll through the images, you'll start to see the same things over and over and go, oh, well, predominantly it looks like this. The other reason I like it is because sometimes with the Crystal ID apps, there's not the same variety in the possible appearance of a crystal. Like I'm just thinking of something like Amazonite. It can be so, so dark teal with like little streaks and stripes of white. It can be medium green blue with some sheen. It can be really, really pale with streaks of like, you know, gold and brown depending on where it comes from and that sort of thing. And so when you're stuck with, again, the confined amount of data that they can fit into one of those Crystal ID apps, Amazonite can look a lot of different ways. And it, it tends to misidentify those kind of crystals or just not be able to identify them well. I personally love Google Lens. It's my go-to when I'm really, really stumped on something, especially like new material, right? This comes in handy for me as a crystal seller at my crystal shop. Sometimes you'll see new material coming out from a vendor and they'll name it something. And I'm like, huh, I've never heard of that before. It's new to the market. Like, where does it come from? I can't find any information about it. I can take a photo of material I have or from whatever's on their website put it into Google Lens and find other people that are selling similar stuff. And it's so interesting because you'll find sometimes like lots of different names when it's something brand new. You can find out more information about it, like where it comes from. You can find out often if it's fake, if there's warnings about that. So I love that. I think it's really helpful um, and it's like a simple tool. Mm -hmm.